and attack other the internet is the main source for spreading malicious programs sometimes just visiting a web page may result in computer infections web antivirus provides security when the user works in the internet web antivirus performs two important functions analyzes the visited addresses and blocks access to dangerous and phishing sites scans the objects downloaded over http You can download a special EICAR.com file from the www.eicar.org site. It is not a virus, but most antivirus programs detect it as a virus for testing purposes. Let us use the EICAR.com test file to examine how Web Antivirus reacts to an attempt to download an infected file from the Internet. Everything downloaded from the Internet files, scripts, page elements, is temporarily placed into a special buffer, scanned, and after that, transferred to the browser. Signature and heuristic analysis are used for scanning. Web Antivirus scans files of all formats, including archives. If a malicious file is detected, Web Antivirus deletes it and replaces it with the HTML message that the downloaded file is blocked. This applies to HTTP traffic. If the HTTP's secure protocol is used, the traffic cannot be scanned and the user is offered to run or save the file. The web antivirus can't scan the HTTPS traffic but all objects downloaded over HTTPS are saved as files into the browser's temporary folder and there they are scanned by the file antivirus. Even if the user selects to save or run a malicious file over HTTPS, the file will be blocked by the file antivirus preventing computer infection. By default, the file antivirus shows no notifications and the user will just get a message from Windows that the file is inaccessible. Malware downloaded from the Internet is not the only way of a threat spreading. A computer can also be attacked. Network attacks are also blocked by Kaspersky Endpoint Security. To imitate a network attack, let us use the KLTPS.exe utility that sends specially generated network packets to a UDP port of the specified computer. We will imitate an attack from the laptop computer to the desktop computer. Network Attack Blocker uses signatures to block all connections that correspond to the descriptions of known network attacks. The user is not notified of a blocked network attack. The information about network attacks is reported to the administration server in the form of events. However, it is not included in the default reports of the administration server. The administrator can create such a report using the available template.
In the template settings, the administrator can adjust the reporting period. They can also customize the scope of the report. It can be either a group or a list of computers manually selected by the administrator or the list of computers from an automatically populated computer selection. Most reports are global as they include information from all computers in the managed computers group. After the template is created, you can generate the report. The report shows the attack type and allows the administrator to find the attacking computer, thus helping to neutralize it. The administrator can easily find the necessary computer, for example by its IP address, using the computer search tool. Then, they can use the shortcut menu to view and analyze the computer events. In this case, you can learn from the list of events that a network attack was registered on the computer. Also, the computer properties show the user who worked at the computer recently. The administrator analyzed the events and discovered that a malicious object was detected on the computer, which will be deleted on restart. Let's write and send the user a message asking to restart the computer where the incident was registered. After the user reads the message, he will restart the computer and the infection will be completely removed.